Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing a like, I think it's a little less messy technique for the paper marbling because, I don't know, well I don't have shaving cream at home, I know that's probably really weird to you guys, <laughs> but we don't use shaving cream, so it it was kind of inconvenient to go out and just buy shaving cream and also from watching tutorials it was so messy so I'm gonna try and do well it works <laughs> it kind of takes a little bit of work into going into it but it's me less messy so that's what I like so what I've got is some Elmer's glue which you can use whichever glue you want but this stuff is cheap so. so I'm just gonna get some glue going and just kind of lines I don't know why it's there we go so just kind of like doing lines maybe going the other way as well this is kind of like a random design just so that you got kind of a little marbling going on all right, now the big thing next is you're going to need your acrylic paint and also a kind of like a crappy paintbrush that you don't really mind if something happens to. I'm going to use just a stray piece of paper as my palette. I'm going to use this metallic blue, oh, teal, my bad. It's so cute. I love this color. So you're just going to put a dollop. You don't need much, really. Actually, that's probably way too much. And then I'm going to use this folk art green. You could do one color, you could do two colors, you can do any amount of colors you really want. And then take your crappy paintbrush and mix some water in with your paint. You really want it to be like a watery consistency. And it's okay if it mixes. <laughs> And it's okay if your glue is drying right now, so don't worry about that. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and just drop my paint down. Looks like my blue completely mixed with my green. I'm going to have to add a little bit more there. Actually, I might just do a green one this time. Alright, so now that we have our color, our colors, whichever you want, I'm going to go ahead and take some more water and just spread this all around on top of that glue. It's okay if it mixes, it's just a part of it. And I'm not going to go straight to the edges because I don't really want that much of a mess. See, now this one's going to be different because I did a crisscross with my glue. So you can really play along with this and kind of make your own designs but it's still going to be kind of like that marbling so I'm actually going to go ahead and add a little bit of that blue. Ooh, that's a lot. No control. <laughs> So 
This is the fun part, mixing the colors. and So I'm just using 110 pound cardstock. Uh, it really depends on how well you think your cardstock will hold up to this much paint and water. I know I trust mine to get my job done, but that's kind of like because I've played with it so much. So it's kind of up to you to judge that, or you can just get some watercolor paper. All right, so now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and take a paper towel or napkin, and we're just going to wipe some of that off, that paint. And just kind of mix it around. This is like the most messy part of it, but it could be, it's not, you know, that bad. Oh. I've got some pieces of paper towel in there. This is like really, what do you want your marble to look like? <laughs> and then just like pressing really deep down and like scooping if you want more white to show. Or if you want like really a lot of white to show, then go ahead and do white paint as well. That is up to you. So that is what it looks like when it's not quite dry. And this is kind of like a technique that you can just like keep playing with and it's always going to turn out a little different. Not by much, but a little bit at a time. So I've got a few in like different stages. This one is dry. This one I did a lot I took a lot more paint off, so a little bit more white showed, and it's a little, little more um, faint, kind of like a distressed in a way. It does kind of break down the compound of your paper a little bit, so it is a little soft. So I wouldn't use it as a card base, and then. I don't remember which one I just put down. I think this one is almost dry. So there's that one. It's kind of coming out as like a poopy green <laughs> on the camera but it's kind of like a really it's not really that kind of shade there that's a little better you can kind of see the darkness so that one's not quite dry and then I'll show you again this one that we made because it's kind of drying so it lightens quite a bit and you, you can see the different lines that you made with the glue and I think that's pretty cool and it's less messy than doing the shaving cream and you don't have to buy anything special because normally we have glue laying around I don't know I mean most people have shaving cream laying around but <laughs> so hopefully I can uh, make a card up with that when it dries and I don't know, I may come back and do a card with it. We'll see. And so really cleanup is just wiping your brushes down. But there you go. That's how you do a 
non-invasive <laughs> marbling technique. <laughs> Let me know if you try it or if you're like, mm, maybe that's a little too messy for me. So I hope you're having a crazy day. Not too crazy, good crazy, not bad crazy. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.